I'm Priscilla Barrera with the Investing News Network, and here with me today is David Snydecker, CEO of Lilac Solutions. Thank you so much for joining us today. Glad to be here. All right. So my first question for you is, how is Lilac's technology for extracting lithium different from the other conventional processes that we know? So Lilac is focused on brine resources, and with brines, the conventional extraction technology is based on evaporation ponds. We eliminate those evaporation ponds entirely uh, and therefore uh, remove uncertainties related to pond construction and weather for evaporation. Um, and most importantly, uh, our technology can access new brine resources with lower concentrations of lithium for which the ponds are not viable. All right. And will this technology help to bring new supply into the market faster? Yes. We're currently focused on North America and uh, working on two projects in the U.S. and Canada. And uh, so we, we hope to open up the North American brines and bring them to the market. All right. And is this technology cost effective? Yes, we'll be co cost effective. We'll be comparable, uh, comparable or lower than hard rock production. And which companies is Lilac hoping to partner with or from which geographical areas? We have two partners at the, at the moment. They haven't been announced yet, but we'll be doing some joint press releases in the next few months. Uh, one has a lithium project in the U.S. and the other has a lithium project in Canada. Right. And what challenges do you forecast in terms of implementing this new technology? Well, we're a relatively new company. We were just incorporated last year. And uh, we'll need to grow out our team in order to uh, ramp up pilot projects and uh, ensure adequate supply of the beads for the lithium projects. Right. And what other milestones is Lilac expecting to achieve next year? We'll, we'll be um, progressing through a series of demonstration and pilot projects over the next year or so. Um, so currently we are doing demonstration projects um, We'll be completing those with customers and, and making announcements around the, the time of completion of those demonstration projects and then moving into some larger scale testing uh, with the goal of uh, starting a pilot project by late 2018 or early 2019. Right, and my last question for you, you are currently a private company. Are you planning to go public at some point? Um, we are not currently planning to go public. Um, you know, there are a variety of... Um, opportunities for um, uh, for returning value to our investors and and we're keeping our options open there all right thank you so much for joining us today thanks very much